Hey there guys, Ian here. Today I'm bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial for you. This is all about Nitro Blast and the dust element and me trying to replicate, well not replicate, but uh, kind of create a kind of shock wave in the dust. Um, like kind of when an object hits the ground you kind of see a shock wave come out and it kind of moves everything around. And this is what I kind of came up with and something we're going to try and replicate in this tutorial. As you can see this kind of sphere coming out, um, if it was to be animated, this is just an image, um, you'd actually see that um, all the dust starts kind of as the explosion happens and then it kind of gets swept out um, in this dome and then kind of disappears and hopefully in this tutorial we will get something similar to this. So let's jump into Cinema 4D, grab a cube, shrink it down and kind of make it a bit wider so we have something uh, for our sphere to kind of collide with and on that note we'll insert a sphere. We'll change the radius down to 40 and the segments up to about 70 and in fact no we can keep this at um, whatever it was um, 50 will do and we'll just move it up a bit then we'll get our plugin which is Nitro Blast grab the main um, if you don't have this plugin um, I'd suggest buying it it's fantastic um, but if we go over to our auto tab grab our cube click static, go to our sphere and click dynamic and then if we just click auto fracture you can see we have it kind of blasting off, <laughs> um, breaking up into pieces uh, this is kind of what we want if we go over to our cube we can just give it a bit of texture by going to the presets and changing the style to stone dark and this kind of just gives it a bit more to look at <laughs> for now then if we go into the auto tag on the sphere we can change the pieces to something like a hundred and with that done just click on our cube click ooh, go back to our auto and click auto fracture and it'll take a bit longer but now we just have a few more pieces to work with so this looks a bit better and this is what we'll work with for now so with our cube selected you can see we have a tab called dust and this is what we're going to be using and hopefully it will work so let's just click enable and if we play through now you can see we have all these kind of uh, dots coming out these are thinking particles and these will be our dust so let's go into our dust object change the size to something more like 40 and this should work straight off so now it's a bit smaller we have our dust and I'm just going to insert a target light and change it to soft shadows and just change it down a bit now when we render it out and actually play through we have some dust coming out which is fantastic under the dust tag I'm going to change the number to 4 which will give us um, a bit, a few more dust particles uh, to work with and so this is what we have for now and I'm just going to change the colour to something a little bit darker so we have something like this and while I'm at it, I'm just going to grab a material, put it on our sphere, just so that's a little bit more interesting as well. Okay, so now we have this playing out. Um, we kind of want the dust to be affected um, and kind of come out into our dust wave like we had here. And to do this, what we're going to do is insert another sphere, move it down so it's roughly here, change the segments of this one up to 
a hundred and make it editable now all we want to do is um, I'm just going to hide it for now just going to play through until just after it collides so somewhere like here and then with our sphere we want to go to coordinates change the size on the X, Y, Z to 0 then holding down control we just click on the circle and it makes a keyframe and go forward a bit and change the size to let's say 2 and make another keyframe here so now it expands and the frame after we want it to be 0 so now it comes out, expands and disappears and this is what we're going to use to affect our dust so I'm just going to call this collider and we can actually just hide this now as we don't need to see it in our scene next we want to insert a null object and I'm going to call this TP and this is where our thinking particles are going to go on because this uses very basic expressive go to cinema 4d tags and at the very bottom we have expresso so name we want to right click go to new node thinking particles initiator p pass and then right click again new node particles dynamic deflector and we want to just grab our collider put it in here and connect them up we want to change the deflector type to an object and then we want to um, change the bounce down to something like 10 the energy to 20 and the friction to 30 the chaos to 20 and the velocity inheritance to about 40 and hopefully now when we play through you can see we get this kind of effect here and if I play through a couple more frames you can see this blasts out creating our shockwave and this is the effect I made <laughs> well I didn't make it um, this is what I came up with I haven't seen this been done um, I'm sure it probably has I just haven't seen it on YouTube or Vimeo um, and I didn't really search that far because I kind of wanted to learn how to make it on my own but you can see it's a really nice effect um, with a bit of adjusting for these shadows um, you get a much nicer effect here because some of them are quite harsh um, if you want to increase the number to say 6 so we get a few more to create this really ooh, so we can create these really nice effects um, and this will just create this nice dome um, coming out from around it um, I'm sure there are lots of different applications for this um, whether you just want um, if you just want to use the thinking particles set up to kind of create something a bit different it doesn't have to be dust it could be anything um, it's very simple to change your color if you wanted more um, of a smoke look you can change this um, so now we kind of have more smoke and now you can definitely see the shadows really are not that nice um, but it's a really nice effect and really simple to do and I think it looks pretty cool um, I'll try using this in something else in the future uh, but for now, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and learned something. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.